Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, going through the book of Psalms here on our Five Minute Coffee Break. I'm going to begin reading in Psalm 78, verse 5. For he, that is God, established a testimony in Jacob, his word and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded to our fathers, that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, even the children who should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children, that they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. Every generation has to follow God for themselves. Every individual from every generation must choose Christ for themselves. And that's because no child can live off the spiritual accomplishments of their parents. God says that every generation should remember his miracles. In order to remember his miracles, they have to be taught the word of God by their parents, hopefully, because that's their duty. But every generation should remember God's miracles. That means every generation should be aware of God's power, God's goodness, and remember all his benefits. If we don't remember God's goodness, if we're not taught God's goodness, If we lose sight of that, then we're going to lose sight of his commandments as well. And God will become irrelevant. And that's what condemns a generation to hell. When the parents do not do their duty. Parents doing their duty of teaching their children about God and living for God themselves doesn't guarantee that a child will go to heaven doesn't guarantee that that child will go to hell, but it does guarantee that the parent will not be responsible for it. Verse 8. And so might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. It is not enough to be as holy and as good and as righteous and as God-fearing as the previous generation. That's not good enough. There's always room for improvement. God says, be ye perfect, for I am perfect. Which is why one generation of Christians should learn from the mistakes of the previous generation and be better. They had more light, see? God expects us to improve upon the previous generation's walk with the Lord. You ought to be more holy than your father. You ought to be more godly than your mother. You ought to understand the word of God better than your parents. It is important for us to understand that we are even more accountable for our shortcomings if they involve repeating the mistakes of others, especially our parents, with the full knowledge that it was wrong. Verse 9. The children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, turned back in the day of battle. The Israelite army had the best weapons available, but even their lead tribe, Ephraim, failed. They failed in holiness, therefore they failed in life. They failed in righteousness, therefore they failed in battle. People today may have the best of everything, but if they fail in faith and their love for Almighty God, if they fail in holiness, they will fail in life and in eternity. Study the whole Bible with me at the Bibleversebyverse.com. Four series going through the Bible. Just choose, click, and listen. Bring your Bible. That's all you need. If you'd like to be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's Word. And click the donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give us the Lord made lead. I'll see you next time right here on Coffee Break.